Good morning. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, model a ceiling in a room. I uh, promised my student at Ajman University Architectural Department to show them another method uh, to make a ceiling. And if you remember that we had already in, uh, you know, the, the, the architectural rivet uh, or Otisk rivet architecture elementary course, in the unit 5-12 it's basic ceiling and in it i show two types of uh, ceiling which is you know the 600 by 600 and the plain one and here i use the gap method or to i use the, the model in place to gap the distance between both of them i'll show you as i promised in, in the lecture that i gave last week i promised the student to show them another way by define another ceiling method uh, sorry another ceiling type that have the difference height between uh, the upper and the lower ceiling anyway just to remind that this is the basic way of making a uh, ceiling in 5-12 in the elementary course this is not part of the uh, exercise that we're doing for the villa and it depending on model in place the method that i'm going to do now is a little bit different so i'm going to show you in a couple of uh, minutes so I prepared this uh, 15 by 10 uh, room or building and I'm gonna go uh, ceiling and same what uh, I've done if you remember the basic uh, automatic is just gonna create it immediately which I'm not gonna use I'm gonna use a sketch method and it's already explained in the 5-12 in the that I just spoke about I'll create I'll select those uh, interfaces quickly and I will uh, just add, let's say, uh, 2,000, I don't know, millimeter offset, and then just create like an O shape ceiling here. And let's let's g let's let's leave, uh, leave that. Uh, sorry, let's just leave that uh, compound ceiling plane at the 2,600. Maybe we make it at uh, 2,900 hit apply and then finish and now if we have a look at what we are doing here in the 3d it will be you know a plane and of course it's not going to be ceiling not being going to show in the floor plan so we need to have a look at the ceiling and you're going to see that it's been existed it's um, not going to show again in the floor plan so it'd be wise to draw it in the ceiling plans double click on this section so this is the walls and that's my something that I just create and see this you know a little bit of a line to represent that it's no shape and that's a section so that could be cut that's actually being cut and this one is this part is elevation anyway back to the ceiling plan and, and now I'm gonna have a ceiling again change that to type into 600 by 600 and uh, let's go ahead and sketch that I'm gonna have pick mode again and just click those and make that 2000 and uh, let's say 600 hit apply and then we finish and if you go to the section again you're gonna see that this is the 600 6 by 600 by 600 and this one the ceiling uh, for 600 by 600 and this one is the plane which is located as uh, 2 point 2.9 meter from the floor finish so that's already explained in the previous lecture 5-12 now i'm not gonna make a, a, a component in a place to gap that hole that you can see here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna define a new uh ceiling type that actually you know create here as a double line or like like a little bit of a wall or a wall here sorry that goes all the way up to this point to gap that area uh, that might be easier for you guys I don't know you maybe you go basic ceiling uh, so oops sorry uh, maybe you go and, and uh, pick up a ceiling and pick up a basic ceiling if you go to edit type it's just a, a gypsum board or if you want you can just pick this plane again uh, in the edit type you're gonna see that uh, it has a structure two different uh, uh, structure uh, layers uh, and you can just change the thickness of those into whatever you find useful uh, it, it's, it's totally depend on you guys I'm gonna go back 
and use the ceiling level one and simply I will go ceiling again and pick up this one let's say edit type duplicate of course and now before I go ahead I, I should have you know go to section and measure the differences between uh, the difference between the height here so your di from the distance between this and this is kind of a crazy number which is 305 and it's happened because this is the clear number sorry this is the clear number the 300 that you think about but that have a special thickness of a 52 or something and this is just came from you know uh, the thickness of the metallic uh, channel that is you know carrying the 600 by 600 tiles and it's getting as much realistic and give you that you know uh, th thickness of those both two components and in, in, in the example that you are doing I'm just or I'm going to do now is just to have you know to bridge this gap so whatever the thickness is available I need to make something that 305 so you can um, you know uh, have a go with the plan a ceiling a plan and uh, just pick a ceiling and pick up uh, either and in it again um, just go sketch of course and edit type duplicate and I'm gonna go it's like a 305 millimeter uh, thickness and edit the structure I know it sound not realistic but again it's just you know a physical representation that's actually based on a component uh, based on a component and, and a type an actual type of uh, a ceiling so just assume that the thickness of the structure is something like um, you know very big like 305 or the finishes part of the gypsum board uh, gypsum gypsum board is actually thick so whatever whatever you want so let's assume it's it's not a representation of you know uh, a ceiling type a new ceiling type that you need to create so maybe i can make uh, this is a 300 mil and this is just five okay or make this 15 and this one 219 as the overall thickness should be set to 305 as, as we need so I'm gonna accept this hit OK and now again pick those lines so I'm gonna pick those and I'm gonna offset let's say 50 mil probably trim that And then finish and when you do that you have to go to the section it will be really wise to know where you place it and you see it's actually in 2000 uh, 2600 remember that the thickness here for this is 52 so just add the 52 so it will be above the ceiling the lower ceiling like this see start up from this and ending up exactly here so this is guys as I promise you in the class to show you another method based on defining a new ceiling component rather than making a component in place thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye